Hey guys, George Elias here from George Elias Presents. Today I'm going to be talking about wake. Wake, where to begin, where to begin. This one's not as elaborate as you may think, some of you would like to think. Um, I felt like filming. I went to go visit my mother at my sister's house. I had all my equipment with me because I was out taking pictures, you know, stock footage and uh, location scouting and stuff like that. I went to go visit her. I just, there was something about my sister's uh, old place where she used to live. I liked it. My mom needed some things from dollar from a dollar store. I went. They had these little tiny little action figures, army men. Well, not really. Army men are usually like that. There we go, like that. But these are like, you know, pretty damn big. And I bought them for a dollar. And I sat down for a bit. And yeah, I, just the idea came to me. And you know, filmed it, put it together a day. But this one took a little bit longer because I had to wait on my friend, Ed Knudsen. Um, he's the one who does the voice, the narration that you hear. Amazing voice actor. You should check out his stuff. Great voice actor, great friend, great human being. He, um, I sent him the script of what I wanted him to say. And yeah, he just, he knocked it out. Uh, but as soon as I got his voiceover work, I synced it together with what you saw. And it was also filmed on the T3. Um, the one you've seen in previous videos uh, with the kit lens again, you know, I like to challenge myself with all my uh, shitty fi uh, films. Um, and the audio was recorded on a cell phone, actually, on a smartphone that I had. Had is the word. I don't even know what happened to it. And that's why it, I still was learning. I still hadn't learned about denoising and things like that. And I pieced it together. Like I said, it's just so basically all the stuff you see with me took about a day. And then once I got the voiceover work from my friend Ed, knocked it all together. I mean, pieced it all together, knocked it out, and you have what you see. And never in my wildest dreams did I expect it would ever be selected to be in any festival. Um, but it got accepted at the American Warrior Film Festival, and it was it was great. You know, it was cool. And I unfortunately was not able to make it to the festival that it was screened at um, due to prior obligations, but one of my dear friends and uh, actually a collaborator, a friend of mine, Shane Nicholson. He's my brother through Lazy Eye Productions, another company I'm involved with. And he went and he said it was well liked and yeah, it was good. And a lot of people told me it actually made them emotional, made them cry and that they really felt something from it because they've had loved ones, um, whether it be their parents, whether it be their brothers, sisters, family, whatever it is in uh, the service, and uh, it really struck a nerve with them. And that's probably, the, that's the best part about Wake, is that it touches people in that way. You know? And I love when I make films that really get people, you know, that it just, that people feel a connection with, in any way. So, as always, I will leave a link to that film in the description below, unless you're watching this on social media or any other outlet. You can look that up um, in my video section. And I hope you guys are still enjoying these uh, Story Behind series because I'm enjoying doing them. So please take care of yourselves, especially right now at the time of recording this this video. Um, the uh, COVID-19 corona outbreak is still going on, so please take care of yourselves. It's a scary time to be, you know, to be out. Just take care of yourselves, please. And those that you love and those that love you, be safe out there, and I will definitely see you guys next time.